Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to discuss uh, associated types. Associated type is a uh, generic in Swift. It helps to make the protocol generic. While I was learning this uh, topic, I had many questions in mind because many example people show on YouTube or maybe on Google searches, they directly show and some way or the other they can be achieved by either any keyword or maybe by T type. So why do we even need associated type? So the first thing is we can make the function generic without associated type also in protocols. But if we want to make the protocol as a whole as a generic, then we need associated type. And there is a difference. So I will show you that difference first with a basic example and then I will show you one use case how we can use a pro an associated type to create a navigation pattern. So this is one of my own developed example. So hopefully you like it. Let me create a protocol here. Protocol, and I would call this as my generic P. And I would create a function here, like I would declare instead a function uh, func my generic func. For now, I'll put the return type as integer, and also I'm accepting a value as integer. So let me use this protocol in one class called as my generic CLS. And I would use this here, my generic protocol. So I have to get its method as well. Let me get the stub. Okay, from here I'll say return value. And here, let me print my generic class dot value as 2 so if you see here the 2 is printed how about if I print 2.5 there is an error because 2.5 is not an integer it's a double so what we can do here is so the current example what I'm trying to show you here is that we can use the t-type generic in the protocol functions and how it is different from associated type we'll see that so let me uh, go to the protocol and say t is type of numeric t is a placeholder and I would put this placeholder here and then I would call the stub again return a value okay let me run this now you can see that we have got 2.5 and how about if I have to print 50 we have the 50 as well so this is already a uh, general way of doing generics now wh wh where is that situation where uh, associated types comes into picture so say for example I want to I want here as dot red and obviously it will complain because it's inheriting from numeric numeric has only two type for in this example like 2 and 2.5 the uh, decimal values or the single integers so uh, how can we resolve this problem with the same function so this is the scenario where associated type comes into picture so if we say that here make my protocol as generic you will see it will complain that you cannot do this instead you have to create an associated type so what I'll do here is I will say associated type this is the keyword by which you declare associated type and I will say its name is associate okay and here I'm going to pass associate 
as a placeholder and I'll remove this thing it's it's not needed now I can remove this function and first thing what I would do here is I would say type alias uh, associate as numeric so let me have another class which is CLS2 and here I would say okay associate act as a UI color okay so let me get the stubs now here okay so you see I return the value return value and from here the same function I'm going to use like this okay so now it's complaining that uh, replace associated with any associate so what is this actually it is because it is used when we are returning a protocol from a protocol so if you see that we are using this protocol and we are returning a value from here it's a generic value and numeric is itself a protocol so which is why we need this any here and okay so now let me write two functions here two print functions here so first one I would say okay my generic class I want the same uh, function to be as 40 and my generic CLS2 return me right okay let me run this and you can see I've got both the results with the same function I have achieved the UI color and the numeric generics so this is the advantage of associated type and this is how it is different from uh, using T type generics this was all for the session today and I will see you in the next session where we will see that how we can use associated types to create a navigation pattern in Swift. So see you there.